Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Over the Wire Bandit level 5-6, a walkthrough, and uh, specifically we're going to be playing around with the find command in Linux. So if you don't have any experience with that and you are trying to walk into it, that is a very useful command you can learn. But before we get too much further into the video, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris Ray. I have this channel here, it's called InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career through a number of different methods. Uh, and I know that just by looking at the analytics coming out of the uh, the analytics dashboard for YouTube, that the vast majority of people watching this channel, watching this video right now, are not subscribers. So here's what I have to say to you folks. If you like this video, if you like what I'm making here, consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe later. All right, so let me shrink this down. I'm going to get my face a little bit smaller. There we go. Oh, a little too small. There we go. Uh, and get the right window up. That'd be useful. Where are you? There you are. All right, so bandit level 5-6, it tells you the password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory and has all the following properties. Now, if you watched my level 4-5, uh, that was a little simpler. It was again, similar setup. Uh, it was saying you have a, a file under the in here directory and it gave you a handful of files, maybe 10 of them, uh, which you could have manually iterated through using cat, the cat command to find your ASCII text file that has your password for this level. Uh, but as you're gonna see here in a moment, once I bring it up, the simplicity is gone. This this one is much more complex. I'm gonna get it right one of these times. Hold on a second, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna get it right and ah, there we go. So it's much more complex. And um, by that I mean under in here, the directory that we're working in, we have other directories and each of those directories has multiple files in it. So you can't just go through and cat those out in a reasonable amount of time. You're going to have to really lean into the power of the Linux command line to quickly work through this and not spend an hour, hour and a half manually typing out the, the directories and the file names and trying to figure out where your ASCII uh, text files at. So again, I'm going to start with my usual, I'm going to do a list and I see that it's, uh, just an in here, so I'm going to type change directory in here, and I'm going to list again, and sure enough, there you go. We have uh, 20 directories, each one with, let's see, let's change into maybe here, 0, 0. Uh, list this out, and each one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or more files in each directory. So I'm going to go back a level, uh, just double check, yep, so there you go, I can see I'm in the correct spot. So we need to figure out how we can quickly work through this and identify something we're looking for. So let's move back and take a look at the parameters again. There it is. All right, so it tells us the password for the next level is stored somewhere under here. Uh, it has the following properties. It's human readable. We know that means ASCII to text. Uh, it is 1,033 bytes in size and it's not executable. So when I'm looking at these three properties here, uh, ASCII to text, human readable, it's fairly unique, but it's not unusual. Um, being not executable, that's also a pretty common trait that a lot of files in the command uh, or in a Linux operating system will have, even Windows, uh, will be non-executable. Think of all, all those configuration files. But if we look at the 1033 bytes in size property that's fairly unique actually that's really unique it's really rare so if we were to use just the find command and choose one property to start with to try and isolate all these potential um, files and and find the right file for us i'm going to start with the 1033 byte parameter simply because i know that there can't be that many files that are going to match that property so starting there will give us the fewest results first so Knowing that, uh, I'm going to type find, which is the command we're using. I'm going to go back over here and let's do a search. Um, is there a way to search based on size? And sure enough, so using the find command with tax size and then look at that bytes, uh, we're going to use C. And now the, the syntax for this is a little funny, so make sure you pay attention here. I'm going to get it right one of these times. There we go. Uh, so the syntax here is a little funny. So issuing find, and then we're going to say from this directory forward, uh, which is what we're doing with the dot slash, and then size. Now you may thinking you may be thinking, you know, okay, I, I know we have to specify C, but where do we specify C at? C tells the, uh, the find command to reference everything based in byte size. 
what we're going to do is we're going to type out the, the, the size, the known size, and then append C to the end of it. So what it's saying is find size 1033 bytes. That's what we're doing when we put the C on there. And if we send this, we commit it. There we go. So we can see under this directory in the maybe here 07, there's a file called dot file two that is returning the exact size of the file property that we know contains the ASCII two characters. So if we cat that out, uh, let's see, we're in here. So we're going to do slash maybe if I can type maybe here zero seven. Yep. And then dot file two. Wow. Sorry guys, it's almost a holiday. Uh, give me a moment. Sure enough, there we go. So we have our password using the most simple command possible that we can find. Now, if this didn't work out, then I would be moving on to my next most likely uh, you know, culprit here, uh, which would be, I'm gonna move back over here. Again, if it didn't work out on the very first one, I'd be trying to, to lock it down to human readable or ASCII to text uh, because simply not executable. That's probably the most common property that you would find when we're doing this. So I started my strategy here is just thinking out loud. I started with uh, 1033 bytes in size, thinking that's going to be the rarest property. And then uh, if that didn't pan out for me, I was going to move on to identifying just those human readable files. And the idea there is, is uh, the combination of both 1,033 bytes in size and human readable, that's got to be pretty dang rare. Uh, I bet you that would return results, but we got lucky. We didn't even need to go that far, and as you would seen in this demo, uh, we found our password for level 6-7. All right, so let's blow up my big face again. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I hope you found this content useful. If, if uh, you know, maybe I'm doing it all weird, I'm doing it all wrong, and you're a Linux expert because I'm far from it, let me know in the comments below how I can improve, how I can do better. Uh, and again, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career. I'll see you next time.